the Russian invasion has reminded us of that time-honoured maxim that if you want to avert conflict, you better be prepared to fight. It was a strong message from General Sir Patrick Sanders in his first public speech as the head of the army. At Rusi's Land Warfare Conference, he spoke of the unprecedented scale of the war in Ukraine, the brutal aggression of President Putin and his expansionist ambitions. He said the choices made by Britain now will have a disproportionate effect on our future. If war is to be prevented, he argued, a new approach must be taken. So from now, the army will have a singular focus to mobilise to meet today's threat and thereby prevent war in Europe. This is not the rush to war at the speed of the railway timetables of 1914. It is instead an acceleration of the most important parts of future soldiers' bold modernisation agenda. A move to a positional strategy, an increased focus on readiness and combined arms training, and a broader institutional renewal that creates the culture required to win if called upon. This process, we'll give it a name, Operation Mobilise, will be the Army's primary focus over the coming years. The mood music was different. The sense of urgency that all this starts today, he said, he said several times, this won't be something that we aim to do in future years. It's something we do from today onwards. And he was saying that the army must be prepared to fight a war which it would expect to, and I think he said, we'd be outnumbered and we'd fight like hell. But we will do it because that is our rationale. Um, and that was a big change in mood and intention. And it's also, by implication, pretty expensive and so, in a sense, it was a challenge to the rest of the government to, to back up this rhetoric, which he and I think the Secretary of State for Defence are laying down pretty clearly. The Chief of the General Staff told delegates he believes we're living through a period in history as profound as the one our forebears did over 80 years ago. This is our 1937 moment. We're not at war, but we must act rapidly so that we aren't drawn into one through a failure to contain territorial expansion. So surely it's beholden on each of us to ensure that we never find ourselves asking that futile question, should we have done more? The CGS went on to warn that it would be dangerous to assume that Ukraine is a limited conflict or to ignore the challenges posed by China and said Britain must be prepared to fight for NATO territory. Now if this battle came, we would likely be outnumbered at the point of attack and fighting like hell. Standoff air, maritime or cyber fires are unlikely to dominate on their own. Land will still be the decisive domain. And though I bow to no one in my advocacy for the need for game-changing digital transformation, to put it bluntly, you can't cyber your way across a river. No single platform, capability or tactic will unlock the problem. Success will be determined by combined arms and multi-domain competence and mass. The debate has been going on um, around these issues for quite a while, you know, in terms of mass and combined arms manoeuvre being capabilities that had, um, you know, because of a resource constrained environment that, um, you know, the British, the British Army has not maintained to the degree that they sh it should have over the last few years, particularly, you know, during Iraq and Afghanistan and then afterwards. Um, I think a lot of the, what was spoken about uh, within that, uh, you know, the multi-domain integration is obviously one of those aspirations that has remained constant over a few years and the fact that uh, CGS mentioned that is no surprise. But the fact that combined arms manoeuvre and mass are now sitting within that, um, that's a significant change and I think it's a promising sign. And my final message to you is this. This is the moment to defend the democratic values that define us. This is the moment to help our brave Ukrainian allies in their gallant struggle. This is the moment we stand with our friends and partners to maintain peace throughout the rest of Europe. This is our moment. Seize it. Claire Sadler, Forces News at the Land Warfare Conference, London. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.